OK, you ready for this? Action. That's cool. That's cool. Back into it again. <laughs> it's either a joy or a bad dream. I'm not actually sure which. Action. Basically, the landing gear for this plane is coming down again. We have a lot of work to do to deliver the movie by mid-November. Peter is sort of an arachnophobe, so showing him spider sequences always sort of freaks him out. It's, it's always scary. It's not as crazy as it has been. This is actually a really fun time to be in pre this until we get back to work. <laughs> Welcome to the new blog. Sorry it's taken a little bit of time since we finished the shoot, but uh, we had to throw ourselves into post-production. That's where we are now, right in the heart of darkness. But I thought it would be good just to look back at the pickups that we did in May, June, July this year. Action. Ten weeks of very, very intense shooting for both the second and third Hobbit movies. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> now, as you know, Andy Serkis was our second unit director, but during the pickups this year, Andy was busy in the new Planet of the Apes movie. So we got Christian Rivers to direct Splinter Unit. Now, it wasn't really a second unit. We call it Splinter Unit. It was like a scaled-down version of the second unit, but nonetheless very important. Great. Reset. We're a small but highly efficient specialised unit. So we sort of sit as close as possible to Pete as we can and we get all the stuff that he's too busy to get. Tell us the story about how you came to be in the film industry. What? Well, it's, it's one of my first jobs was grabbing you by the balls, wasn't it? That's right. Well, it must have been a short experience. And that's going to put you off for life. <laughs> Since then, he has literally been on, I think, every movie that I've made. So I've worked with Peter for over 22 years now. I started when I was 18 as a storyboard artist and wearing various hats over the years. <laughs> so I'm what you might call institutionalised. So he was a natural choice to me because he's been doing previs and actually designing sequences for The Hobbit. So he has a very intimate knowledge of my filmmaking style. He may want us just to kind of get highs, get lows. He's great at working with the actors too. On the first day of Splinter Unit, Pete definitely threw me in at the deep end. I didn't think I was going to be shooting any drama, but we shot Gandalf and Radagast yesterday, which was a real treat. Nerve-wracking, but a real treat. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Hi, Christian. Hello. If Peter's happy, it's that true. Hi. We have little time. Now he has built an army and then... Oh, f***. No. Oh, f***. <laughs> gathered an army. Bought an army. Gathered an army. Lego. We did with Lego. Gathered. No, don't. Don't. Shit. Gathered. 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 Director's happy, camera's happy, actor's happy, I'm happy, you're happy, we go for another one. I suggest you leave now. Go after him. Well, there's little time so, so, so fast and so slow. Gandalf, what are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> We're ready. Get serious and shoot us like we're making a real big movie. Yeah. Yeah. We're shooting some more of the spider fight with the dwarves. Action. Musical cheers, but with swords and spiders. Yeah. Spider fighting first thing. Can't beat it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to kick some ass with this. Beware, Spider. Can't miss with that. Hold on, Mama! Where's Bilbo? Another nice short day, just the 15 hours. Don't look at me directly in the eye. We're now shooting on the back lot as opposed to the studio. Now, outside, there are slightly more sort of inherent problems. And shooting next to the airport. We're having to time the shots. It's at times between the planes taking off. We're playing. playing. Okay, uh, winner stands in and loser plane watches. Okay? Good luck. Yes! It was either wear this or go up the hill and spot planes, so I'm actually quite glad happy I'm wearing this. Next one, uh, large aircraft right now. 
watching for aircraft. So we just let the ADs know when the aircrafts are coming, how big they are. We've got uh, another one leaving in about 30 seconds there, Bruno. Yeah, there Lovely, here we go. And action. There's directing, and then there's plane watching, and then there's the rest of the jobs, like camera and grip and lighting and stuff. So we scored this one, we won, obviously. And, um, and here we are. <laughs> and they have to be boring on set filming the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Action. One, two, three. So on Splinter Unit, um, we shot a lot of stunts, a lot, a lot of action stuff. Yeah, that was good one, Richard. That was great. Most of the actors want to do all their own stunts, especially Orlando. Yeah. So he's coming up behind you, and you're just landing, and just as he appears there. <laughs> yeah. Is that plank going to be there or not? No. No, of course it's not going to be there. So I'm just going to have to... It would be a wussy thing. Ah. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. Don't mess with this elf, right? Aye. I have melting ears. I've, I'm sweating them off in all of my stunt work. Tolkien describes the Sylvan Elves as less wise and more dangerous. Tauriel is a little bit reckless and doesn't quite have the self-control that I think a lot of the other elves do. You like death? Then let me give it to Tauriel. you. Tauriel! Echo! So she doesn't have that kind of floating, ethereal thing. I do not think you would allow your son to pledge himself to a lowly Sylvan Elf. No, you're right, I would not. Still, he cares about you. Do not give him hope where there is none. You peer around and you see him standing in the middle of the room, mm. naked in a bath. <laughs> I know, this, in the spa, the spa bath, yeah. With a <laughs> the jacuzzi. <laughs> I know you're there. Um, the fortunes of the world will rise and fall, but here in this kingdom we will endure. Thandril is so old, he's, you know, 3,000 years old and immortal. A hundred years is a mere blink in the life of an elf. I'm patient. Yeah, he's not interested in how he presents himself to other people. He's just interested in what they have that he wants. That's how kings are. <laughs> Shall I take my leave of you now? Get out of here. Or should we get in the jacuzzi? Get out of here or get in that jacuzzi. Cannonball! See, it's like dropping the audience bang straight into it. The chase is still on. That's a good one. Let's do one more. So I hope you've enjoyed that. You see, we're going to keep the blogs coming thick and fast now between this point and the release. <laughs> <laughs> so soon it'll be the pickups part two. Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching. Dwarves will take some catching. <laughs> and so do burglars.